Hi guys, welcome back or to my channel. I'm so sorry I did not post last week. I was just terribly busy and I have been so, so extremely unmotivated and unhappy with my channel lately. I think it's the fact that I've just been so busy starting school up, starting dance up again. Um, recently was my birthday. I've just, there's just been a lot and it has just been hectic. So I've not really got much time to film and edit and the small times that I do get that I squeeze it in, I'm just not proud of it at all. I don't take the time to really edit my videos anymore. I just fling by, attach all the clips, edit out what I need and try to add a couple random little humor things in it and I'm like I call it a day but I used to have so much fun like and used to was like only like a month or two ago I used to have so much fun and I think I've just gotten so stressed and overworked um so now I am just going to post on I'm still planning to post on Fridays but if there is a Friday that I miss please don't be shocked or anything you don't need to come message me acting all concerned I will be back I most likely am just taking that week off but I'm gonna try and get a few videos really well edited and a few um, and just put a lot of effort into them and save them on private so that when I do have weeks like that I can just post that one that I've already pre-edited instead. Not the point of today's video. Today we are talking all about dumpy tree frogs, white tree frogs, Australian tree frogs. They're all the same thing but I will be calling them dumpy tree frogs and a lot of people get mad and hunter that I say that but um yeah I I don't know it's not the proper name apparently but I was like calling them by their common name so we're gonna talk about jumpy tree frogs today I am gonna bring one of my west tree frogs out with me with a glove on for it here is Bubba and somehow he has obtained to gain 12 grams in one month someone needs a diet but here he is he's gonna help us start off with the pros of having a dumpy tree frog first off feeding them is so fun you would probably not think that like feeding an animal could be very entertaining they are so funny how they eat um when they eat so they just i don't know they just look so stupid and i love it they're just very fun animals to watch um eat their food and especially since they are insectivores so they eat live insects it's very funny to watch them eat off tongs or out of dishes or whatever their live prey and some of them can be picky and literally pick out bugs that they don't like it is so funny so definitely have preferences but they're absolutely awesome to watch um, feed and feeding them if you do decide to feed them off tongs like I do with my boys. It is great because once a dumpy tree frog is an adult they only eat every three to six days depending on how fast um, or slow your dumpy gains weight. He is starting to gain weight quite quickly on even three to four days. Every three or four days he is fed and he's already gained 12 grams apparently being on that diet for only a couple months. So I will be probably backing him up to more every like six days or so. So um, it is really nice if you do go on a vacation or you spend the night at your friend's house as long as you make sure they're fed before you go or you know if they just recently ate once they're an adult. You don't really, you don't need to have your parent feed them or anything like that. You can go even for a day or two and they should have no problem as long as they're being misted twice a day and um, have their daily maintenance done in their tank so they are very easy animals if you want to go spend the night somewhere or over a weekend or something as long as they're getting their misting and they are obviously being fed on a regular basis uh, they are good to go so it is really nice but babies do need to fed more be fed more often bottom is eating every other day right now dumpy tree frogs do not need huge enclosures which is so so nice now obviously each person you talk to is going to say different things to you. I personally think a dumpy tree frog needs at least 10 gallons for one per frog and they tend to do well in like a little communal setting so he is with his brother right now in a 40 gallon tank but bottom will be added to it so they'll roughly all get 13 gallons of their own space but obviously they get the whole tank so they could all be in the same area at once and there's you know what I mean. I would say probably a 20 gallon would be okay for two adults, but even though I personally choose to have mine in a 40, I would see them being okay, but then um, I've heard other people say that they refuse to keep two dumpy tree frogs in anything less than like a 60 gallon tank. So I think it depends, but they are quite active during the night and they um, love to sleep in a bunch of different places. So the more space you can provide, the better, but they are a lot like crested geckos as well. Um, they need more height than width as they are arboreal frogs. Uh, so I will put some B-roll in right now of my adult frogs tank so you guys can see kind of a couple examples of um, what I'm talking about for space and sizes. 
herpes don't live as long as a lot of herps. Now, I've heard so many different things about these guys' ages. I think they're so new to captivity, you know, it's really recording how long, like, the longest frog has lived. So, realistically, it's not exactly known. A quick Google search tells you 6 to 12 years, but then other people can say they can live up all the way to 20 years. Um, but I would roughly say 10 to 15 years is probably an average of what, like, a lot of herps are. But there's some snakes that can live up to 30 and 40 years old. So they don't live as long as a lot of other like snakes and some other like larger lizards. It's kind of a pro that they do live a while so you can bond with them but not too long where it's insane and you don't even know if you'll be alive when they pass away themselves. Well I'm going to put Bubby back and um, someone needs to diet so he definitely needs to go exercise in his tank. So I'm going to put him back here. Another huge pro in my opinion is they don't eat a huge assortment of diets. Uh, for example my bearded dragon up here and down here in the bottom corner is my blue tongue skank. They are both omnivores so they need you know meats, proteins, veggies, fruits, um, other treats and supplementations and just a lot of stuff goes into their diet and you need to get the proper you know percentages and everything but these guys it's great since they are fully insectivores so as long as you have proper supplementation um, such as like D3 I do every once in a great while for them but I mainly do calcium and then um, vitamins every couple weeks or so so now there's obviously more pros to these guys than I mentioned but these are some of the main pros that I personally find in owning my dumpy tree frogs uh, but now we need to move on to the cons section so this video is not 16 years long first con I wanted to start off with which is the biggest problem I have is handling these guys breathe through their skin so they can obtain oils through your skin um, chemicals on your hands they can basically get a lot of diseases and illnesses and actually die very easily uh, being overhandled or handled with unclean hands. So you need to be very thorough when you do handle these guys. And it should not be very often. I probably take my white tree frogs out for more than one minute, uh, probably like once a month, and that is usually just to um, weigh them and make sure and do just a quick health check. Otherwise, you know, sometimes they'll jump out on my hand quick or just have to move them around for literally less than 30 seconds. So I wouldn't consider that handling. But otherwise, I do not handle these guys. So actually, probably every month I handle them less than 10 minutes. So um, that's definitely something you need to consider because they cannot be overhandled. They can actually get very stressed. And like I said, they can get diseases and obtain too many toxins from your hands and other places around you, like on your desk where you just freshly windexed it or something like that they could take those toxins in or the detergent actually sitting on your clothes it is not good for them to be on clothes or blankets or anything like that so definitely something to really really think about this is a pro to personally me and other people but it will be a big con for a lot of people and that is that they do eat insects they are insectivores a lot of people are not allowed to have insects in their family's houses or you're scared of insects yourself and you cannot replace this with anything they cannot have freeze-dried insects they need live insects that is like you eating literally like dehydrated fruit and dried vegetables for your entire life. It is disgusting, it is not very nutritional, um, they need live bugs and they need a variation in bugs. Maybe it is a con also that dumpy tree frogs live to what age they can live to. Um, some have probably lived over 15 years. So yes, this can be a big con if you just want an animal that's more gonna live just a couple years, but if you just want an animal temporarily and are more worried about how long it's gonna live than actually enjoying the animal and you're just counting down the years till it dies, maybe you shouldn't get an animal, maybe you should get like a stuffed animal. If you get male white tree frogs, they are going to be very loud. I have all males. Um, <laughs> we just recently found out that bottom was a boy and um, they can be extremely loud. They're down here in my pet room, which I am so happy about, but sometimes I can literally hear them upstairs while I'm walking in my hallway, just croaking. Like, I can hear them in my kitchen, which is four rooms away from here. They are extremely loud, so you definitely need to consider that. Um, so maybe go for females, or if you know they're going to be in your room, figure something out, like a loud fan, or if you're fine with them croaking. Um, mine probably croak. Mine don't croak at exactly times, and sometimes it can last 10 seconds, other times it can last 5 minutes, so it completely depends. Well, that is all I'm going to cover in today's video. Again, there's more things I can mention on both sides of the spectrum, but these are just the main things I wanted to talk about today. I hope this could help you which way you are planning to swing. I personally love my dumpy tree frogs, but obviously not every single animal is going to be for everyone. So um, if you decided that they're just not for you or you want to find a different frog species, that is totally fine. I have other videos in the future that I'm going to make about my two other species of um, frog and toad that I have. But um, yeah, 
stay tuned for more. Thank you guys so much for sticking with me during this crazy time of like COVID and just starting school and everything going on. I really hope that I can start posting again consistently and having good editing and just proper um, lighting and focusing and everything like that. So I'm just keeping my fingers crossed that the whole video is focused and I'll see you guys next time. I love you so much. Stay awesome. Bye guys.